Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and I recently saw a Photoshop tutorial that I thought would be interesting, and I don't remember where I saw it, I apologize for that, but I thought it would be interesting to try it here to show how you can liquefy text. Even though it's not live text, you can create some interesting graphics with it. So let's get started. So I went on feedbooks.com and they have some public domain novels there. And I just grabbed some of this text on uh, the astronomer Isaac Newton. And I also grabbed this picture, which was the cover of the book. So those are the two things I'm going to be working with right now. It's pretty simple and it'll be a very quick tutorial, but I think you'll find it interesting. So let's hide the text. The first thing we're going to do is take Sir Isaac Newton, and then I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and create a circle by holding down shift just enough to cover his face. And I'm going to clip him into that circle. So what you do is you take his picture and you bring it up and to the right. And now he's in that circle. So if I open this up, I can actually change the size of the circle. And that would be this piece right here. And then if I touch him, I can bring him bigger or smaller also. So I want him to fill the circle. So let's just get him approximately where he's filling the circle. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to stretch him a little. I could use the inpainting tool here, but I'm not, that's not what this tutorial is about. So I'm just going to keep him stretched like that. And I think that'll work out and that's fine. So now I'm going to bring the text in. And it's just regular text. I just copied and pasted it into a frame. So uh, it fills the page. And I actually duplicated some of the text just for this particular tutorial. So I need to right click on the text and rasterize it. So now it's no longer text, it's a picture. And I'm going to bring him up and decide where we want him to be. And I'm gonna say about here. I could even make him a little bit bigger. And I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to the text layer and I'll go to liquify. And now that I'm in liquify, I want to go to the liquify punch tool. And I'm going to just basically take a circle. My brush can be smaller or bigger. I'm going close to the size of the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to slowly get a feel of which way I want it to go. And I'm just punching all around here, just like this. And I'm going to keep going. I want to go a little at a time so I don't overdo it. If I need to adjust anything, it'll be easier for me to adjust it. But I kind of thought this was a really interesting effect. And I'm going to, for now, I think I'll leave it like that and say apply. And then I'm going to go back to his photo and convert him to black and white. And I'll just say OK. And then I'm going to Effects. And I'm going to try an outline. And let's raise. Oh, I want the outline to be on the inside. I'm going to raise it until I see enough black showing. Instead of solid, I'm going to switch it to contour. And I'm going to close. And I think that's a pretty good effect. Now, you can do frames. You could do kind of crazy stuff with it. But I thought this was kind of an interesting thing. So if someone has a resume or a story and they want to get fancy and they just want to do something cool for graphics, I thought this was a very cool way of just showing graphics with Liquify. So I hope you liked this tutorial and I, I hope you find it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a good day. Thanks so much. Bye.